was training tonight, Cliff? Uh, yeah, it was all right. Um, the ice wasn't great tonight, so the pucks were jumping all over the place a little bit more than we would have liked. But um, the boys' energy was high, and they were, they were buying into everything and, and working hard in all the drills. Just uh, the puck wasn't sliding just quite as nicely as we would have liked. What things are you looking forward to working on for this weekend's games? Um, it's just really building on the things that, that we were good at at the weekend, but also um, reinforcing some things where we were maybe not too sure of or making errors in at the, uh, the previous weekend. There's uh, a few simple things that we could tighten up on that would have um, maybe turned the result around on Saturday. Uh, but also on Sunday, um, we weren't at our best. However, we did have to adapt to the situation and the, the conditions in the ring we were playing in. So just tightening up all over the ice, really. What challenges do you see being posed on Saturday in Swindon? Swindon are a top team. Um, they've got um, really a real solid team. But you know they've got prolific scorers in their team. You've got the likes of Aaron Nell. Max Burbrier and uh, Jan Kostel who could cause any team problems any night but also they've got a lot of, um, of young guys that are really good like uh, the likes of Kelso and, and Ruckus they can give you a lot of problems as well so we've just really got to be switched on for 60 minutes from the very first drop of the park and, and, and hope to, to grind the result out Sunday will be different for us but we still have to respect the team we're playing just as much as, as the team we're playing on Saturday night I have to admit I know less about the London Raiders but they're going to be a solid team and you know Sean Easton's come across from Chelmsford and he's brought some guys with him solid players who won championships last year so we've, we've really got to deal with Saturday first and then I'll start worrying about Sunday's game plan after the game's finished on Saturday night What would it mean to yourself and the boys to have a big crowd down for Sunday's game? Oh, it was amazing last weekend it was, it was a huge crowd um, relatively speaking for this club and in this league um, if we could repeat that it would be phenomenal um, you know that I think we're just sort of establishing a bigger fan base now than we've previously had. Um, they've probably not maybe got their uh, their songs and their chants together as much as, as we'd like, but they were making some serious noise on Saturday and it really did help the boys. So those who haven't been to a Thunder game before, what would they expect if they were to come on Sunday? Um, fast paced. Um, you see two teams, I believe, that will be working really hard. It'll be physical. You'll get to see some, some up-and-coming youngsters on both teams. Um, who will be the you know the next big things in British hockey and and also some experienced guys who are, um, have a lot of talent themselves and, and can show the young guys a thing or two. It will certainly be uh, worth the uh, the admission price anyway.